Hey, it's Pogo. This is, uh, I guess, the third Babel. Well, maybe not really a third, actually the second, because the first one was more or less an introduction. Um, I want to answer a few specific questions that have been posted uh, to me. First of all, I want to talk to Paul Thompson, who did a fantastic job on Sick Willie video. Amazing editing, great guy. And he had a specific question uh, dealing with um, UFOs and uh, my experiences with them. I know I've said something about this before on my website or my Facebook page or whatever the hell they call it nowadays. You kids and your fancy technology. Anyhow, the main thing is this. Uh, one day, I was driving in my car with my beloved Kim. I was the passenger. She was the driver. We're going down the 405 heading south to Los Angeles. And we're right outside of LAX, uh, that's Los Angeles International Airport, right near the U.S. Air Force Base there, too. And I'm looking out of my window, and I have one far-sighted eye, one near-sighted eye. Well, right now, I'm just down to one eye, but that's a separate story. But out of my far-sighted eye, I saw, and this is a clear blue sky, I mean, not a cloud in the sky, nothing. Nothing you could see at all. I saw a silver, shiny object. At first, I thought it might have been a blimp. But then, the shape of it was on the shape of a blimp. It was the shape of a pure cylinder. You know, a round, like, toilet paper, uh, paper towel tube made of what looked like the shiniest aluminum you've ever seen. Like nickel, like silver, like, um, uh, like polished silver. It was amazing. Like, sorry, I gotta do a shot. <sighs> Anyhow, so I look out the window, and, and for a second I thought that, well, maybe it's because my crazy eye surgery, I'm seeing something that's not there, or maybe because there's these two airports nearby, that it must be something, you know, due to the airports, but then I'm looking around the sky, and I actually see other aircraft, no, not right now, not a second, I actually see other aircraft flying around the sky, that, I mean, I know them, they're, they're, they're 737s, or 747s, 727s, you know, 777s, you know, whatever, and these things are clearly lower in altitude, and clearly much smaller than this object is. So, because they're coming on their landing path, uh, the glide path in on their, their uh, uh, takeoff out. And so I looked at this thing, and it was hovering, like, hovering there, completely silent. Pure, shiny silver. I saw nothing on it but the shape of a cylinder. Not like a cigar shape, but a true cylinder. Just a truncated tube of metal, it looked like. Shiny on both ends. And it sat there and hovered silently. And I could see planes flying below it. And I looked over to, to my beloved Kim and I said, Hey, do you see that? But she said, Hey, I'm looking at the road. And she was right. That's the smart thing to do when you're driving is to look at the road. Because, you know, in L.A., it's really easy to get in an accident on the 405. Especially when you're going past Howard Hughes Boulevard and such. Howard Hughes Parkway or something. Anyways, so I, I looked down. And I looked up again and it was still there. And I was like, amazing. I kept trying to say, look, 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 look. But she didn't have a sunroof and she couldn't lean over to see it. But I could see it out of the passenger side. And it was amazingly shiny. It was so high up. And it was it was a complete, complete a cylinder like this beer can is. But like laid sideways. But I want to spill the beer. And then I was looking at it. And as I watched it, it zipped off. I mean, with no sound. Zero sound. And it accelerated from like a pure hover to I can't imagine what speed. Because I can't imagine the altitude or actual size because there's no clouds in the sky. There's only planes landing and taking off to give me some sort of reference version of what was going on. But I mean, it took off at supersonic speed, made no sound, not a single sound, and disappeared into the horizon. Pardon me, I'll take a shot. Ah. Thanks, Billy. <laughs> Excuse me. And disappeared into the horizon like nothing I've ever seen. I mean, like, I, I studied to be an aerospace engineer. That's what I wanted to be. And then the shuttle blew up, and there's no jobs in that, you know? Everybody lost their jobs in that stuff. But this thing, I know, was higher than the planes on the glide pass in or out. And I know it left no contrail. And I know it had no sound. And I know its scale, it was larger in size than planes that were clearly below it in altitude. And yet moved from, I mean, a dead standstill hover, like a, like a, like a balloon or a, a helicopter, to... I can't describe the speed. It was out of my view within two seconds. 
So that is my answer to Paul, uh, the great video man, worked for Billy. I recommend you watch Break You Down. It's a great video. And the next thing I wanted to go into was one more thing. I know I'm getting a little long here, but um, you've been asking me about numbers, why three and four are special versus nine, and other things, and about, you know, uh, 12, 21, 20 or 12. Depends on how you add it up. Because if you add it up as like 12, 12s and 12s, you're going to get threes, threes and threes, which gives you nine, which is the number of the devil, which is the same number as 666, six, six, which gives you six plus six plus six, which equals 18, which is nine, which is the number of the beast. But then again, if you add the 20 in there, then you wind up with 11. Okay? Now 11, now that comes down to two, which is the complete binary. So that's telling you it's a binary alphabet. And in a binary alphabet, 1, 1 in binary equals 2 to the power of 0, which is 1, plus 2 to the power of 1, which is 3, which equals 3, which is the Trinity. That's all I want to say. i got way more questions to answer, but I want to be boring, and I appreciate your time here. And I hope my Australians enjoy my hat. Have a great day. Love y'all.